and gentlemen, tomorrow marks a huge, and I mean huge fucking day for the GTA 5 community. Just in general, it's gonna be fucking insane. So today marks one more day until the GTA 6 trailer, boys. Oh my god, I cannot fucking wait. You guys already know what happened with like Rockstar and all that fucking bullshit. They basically like deleted all their posts from like Instagram and I think all on from Twitter. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm gonna go check real quick. Yeah, no, they haven't deleted everything from Twitter, but listen, this post over here, this fucking post saying trailer one Tuesday, December 5th, 9 a.m. ET. From what I'm expecting is that I've watched basically every single GTA 5 trailer, trailer one, trailer two, etc. Basically, what I'm expecting from this is just the gameplay, like showing around the map and shit like that. Bro, I cannot wait. And what people are predicting is that it's gonna drop fall 2024 or November or September 2024 next year. If it drops 2025, that'd be fucking amazing because that's around the end of my senior year for high school and I could just enjoy myself playing GTA 6. So the more that they push back this GTA 6 bullshit, I fuck with it because right now in 11th grade, it's pretty fucking hard, right? I don't want this shit to come out right around whenever I'm in the end of the school year and shit. This trailer is going to be like, I'd say approximately around one minute and 15 seconds to one minute and 50 seconds of a trailer. Just showing around the map. If you guys haven't seen yet on Twitter and show like that, I'm not gonna show it or any of that fucking bullshit, but basically what they have leaked is that the map of GTA 6, quote unquote, has been leaked by like one of the game developers kids. I'm not gonna say that it's completely real, but from the looks of it, it's fucking real! Yeah, here it is right over here. I'm not gonna show it at all because I don't want to get taken down or anything. Dude, it has buildings that look fucking amazing and it has a billboard on that map that shows the cigarette company from GTA 5 onto GTA 6 on that billboard. I think it's real. Now, obviously, we've already gotten 50 plus minutes of the GTA 6, like, you know, pre-alpha content and shit like that that got leaked by, like, some fucking UK guy. He got taken down by the FBI. All this random ass bullshit. But listen, I've watched that 50 minutes, I've watched that 54 minute, uh, you know, whole week gameplay footage and all that fucking bullshit around like three fucking times already. I'm just like waiting for this fucking bullshit, bro. I'm, I'm just so fucking excited to just see a trailer. Like Rockstar has the hype that nobody can generate, like no company, nothing that Call of Duty can do can generate this type of hype for GTA or Rockstar games in general. Just for their games, their hype levels are insane because of how how much hard fucking work that they put into their fucking games, man. I, I cannot wait. Now, I'm a Call of Duty type of channel. I don't really make GTA 5 content. The only content I made on GTA 5 was, I believe, like one fucking video, but I'm a big GTA 5 fan. And most of you guys are probably some Call of Duty fucking nerds like me. If you're a little bit into that, like, GTA 5 scene and shit like that, they recently, like, I believe, I don't even know, like, fucking seven months ago or any of that bullshit. I don't know. One update, they released this t-shirt, right? And this t-shirt, what people did was encode it inside of, like, a website or some shit. And what it had was these texts over here. Look at what it fucking says here, bro. So what people did with this code is just take it to an encoder and they got this shit. Look at the red box 12 5 23 oh, 09 and what does it mean by 12 5 23 and oh, 09 it literally means december 5th 2023 oh, 09 which is 9 a.m whenever the trailer drops et that's whenever i have school Fuck. I'll try to find a way to, you know, watch this trailer and show like that. I'm gonna be reacting to it on here. I'm gonna try my fucking best to convince my parents to, uh, to let me just stay home for like two fucking classes. Alright, listen, that's enough rambling, but we're not gonna leave off this video without talking about the worst fucking stoppage in UFC history that happened last night. That shit was fucking insane. Now, if you guys do not know this ref, this guy is Mario Yamusaki. I don't know if I'm saying that shit correctly. He used to work for the UFC as a shitty fucking ref sometimes. He used to ref good, but sometimes he'd make some stupid ass fucking calls. And what people are saying is that this fucking ref that stopped that Bobby Green fight last night, which I'll show in just a second, is worse than this fucking guy in general. Just everything. This ref that I'm about to show you is fucking insane. Now we're going to take a close fucking look at this bullshit. Look. Look. Straight from the fucking cross, lands on the chin. Bobby Green didn't show any signs, except for there, whenever his legs fucking shook. Boom! Jalen Turner just fucking dropped the shit out of him. Rocked cold. He's cold. He's dead. This guy's done for. The ref should have just jumped in. If he crumbles up like this, you're fucked. Boom. Straight. Oh my god, just unnecessary dance. Still keeps going. 
still keeps going. Look at this fucking ref. He's probably screaming at him and saying like, Fight back! Fight! Hey, fight back! Hey, fight back! Hey, man! Fight back! Like, this guy is dead! He's dead on the fucking floor! Help the man! Look at this bull! I don't think you guys understand how much cauliflower ear that guy is gonna have from just straight taking that fucking... Ow, ow. And then the ref stops it. Dude, Bobby Green just looks so fucking dead down there. Oh my god. Now, this was the main event. Look, we're getting there. We're getting there. Boom. Cross. Maybe a hook. I don't know. Knee straight. Boom. And I don't know if you guys can fucking see that shit, but he, as soon as he picked up that knee, landed that knee, which was not queen. It was around the, nah, I wouldn't really say that was queen. As soon as he kneed him, boom. Straight to the fucking chin of Dariush. And then, if you're not a UFC Fight Night type guy and you just watch the like monthly events like UFC 296, etc, etc, you gotta watch these UFC Fight Nights. They're fucking insane, especially the main card sometimes. But yeah, boys, before we wrap up today's video, I'd like to say thank you guys for the fucking support on the latest videos. To be honest with you guys, I didn't really expect my channel to go up to 800 subscribers this damn quick. If you guys are new here and you want to know a little bit more about me, I make trolling videos, I make funny videos, I sometimes talk a lot like this fucking video over here, I do cut videos i mainly play call of duty i'll sometimes linger around into new games you know what i'm saying just whatever interests my mind and whatever i like making content on i make content on so, i mean yeah boys if you guys are new here and you fuck with this content make sure to like and subscribe to the channel i'd very very appreciate it yeah boys that's all i gotta say peace how about fitting all these nuts in your mouth <laughs>